I wonder how many bits of the Bible you know off by heart. I expect not many. Uh, Christians of previous generations would have learned uh, bits of the scripture by heart. We tend not to nowadays. We've got it all on our phone to hand, so we don't need to learn it. I expect probably the only thing we all know off by heart is the Lord's Prayer. But actually, uh, in the past, another text that many Christians would know by heart is today's Gospel reading, the Beatitudes. Because down through the centuries, the church has always thought that the Beatitudes are, well, a description of what it means to live as a child of the Kingdom of God, or, on this All Saints Day, what it means to be a saint. But by saint here, we don't mean that super spiritual stained glass Christian superhero. We mean the person who has become the very best person they can be, the person they are meant to be. And our lives become shaped by the gospel of Jesus Christ when we live by the Beatitudes. There's not time in this short homily for me to go through all of them, but notice how each of them, first of all, has a blessing, blessed are. Then it has what you might call a vocation. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit. Blessed are those who are pure in heart. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right. God is calling from us a certain way of living, a certain way of being, and then there is a promise. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In fact, that first beatitude is really the doorway into all the others. Blessed are those who know their need of God. Blessed are those who don't take themselves too seriously. Blessed are those who know they need resources outside themselves. When we learn and live by these Beatitudes, we become uh, children of God. We live as God means us to live. We become saints.